I, I wonder if we're all really listening to our intuition. Uh, our intuition is our connection to our higher source. The Holy Spirit talks to us through our intuition. Sometimes God comes straight through or Jesus to give you messages um, when you're asking for clarification. And this is what he did to me last night. And, you know, I asked for a couple more things before I came on here and I'm not going to be too long. But, um, you know, in regards to asking God about the direction of your life, and what are his plans? And are you feeling the things that are coming into your life are coming from God or are they coming from another source? Is it your own mind, like, um, you know, wishful thinking kind of thing, uh, things you want to do in the flesh? Is that really where you should be headed or is it God directing you in those directions? You know, when it comes to big life changes, uh, many people are thinking of making big moves and changing jobs and relocating and all these things. So. Um, you know, I'm always, I'm always asking what I'm supposed to be doing. So this morning I asked for a little clarification and I just flat out said, God, is this you that's giving me these, <laughs> these messages and that I should be really paying attention to these. And what I heard was a booming, I am, which made me kind of chuckle because, you know, in the Bible, he, he goes by, I am, you hear it in society. I am is God. Right. So I thought that was kind of funny that he came through like that. But I think the message today is just to pay attention to your inner knowing and your intuition. And that when the calling comes on you to do something, you know, really trust what you're hearing. Don't be afraid to trust uh, the messages that are coming to you. Of course, you can go to the Bible and look for confirmation, but you can always talk directly to God, too, and trust the message that comes to your heart right so um as i was getting ready this morning he he uh like just a couple minutes ago this was like on the fly um not planned or pre-planned or anything like that to do this video i just uh felt the need that i should get on here and share that little i am message but he also brought to me um the name judas and i looked for him a specific verse on him and couldn't find it. So um, I was just hearing, you know, remind people of Judas and for them to do their own research, but the significance of who he was in accordance with Jesus and what he did, he deceived him, right? He sold him out basically. So that you can tie that into this message of trusting your intuition when know when somebody is not being honest with you, Trust that inner guidance that you have that somebody may be lying to you or deceiving you or going behind your back. Trust those things. And that's kind of what Judas is represented, uh, I believe, you know, in the Bible. So that was one thing he brought to me. The other thing was he wanted me to remind you it's all ties into intuition, which is really cool. This morning. I'm working and thinking and hearing like tons of blue jays or well, might not have been tons, but it was pretty loud out my window and around the property here, just really squawking up a storm. And I'm like, well, that's odd. Normally I hear one or two, you know, pinging back and forwards, little messages to each other, but it was quite like frantic sounding out there. And I, you know, I didn't know, uh, it didn't sound normal. <clears throat> and then within 15 minutes, a plane flew by so loud. It was so low. It was just zipping past. And, you know, it didn't really sound like a, a local plane. It sounded like a pretty um, significant plane. And, I, of course, I couldn't see it. By the time I got to the window, it was gone. But it was loud and it was on a mission. And those two things this morning made me kind of wonder, what's going on? I heard we have another big storm coming at the end of the week. And... Um, you know, I don't know if that plays into it. So then I asked, God, can you give me a verse? Just give me, you know, give me something that ties into um, what this is about. So he gave me John 3, 7. Okay. And it is, again, talking about trusting your intuition and um, deception coming up against you. John saw many Pharisees and, and Sadducees coming to where he was baptizing. He said to them, you are like the rest of the poisonous snakes. So in that moment, John recognized who they were and that they weren't being forthright with him. They, they came in with an agenda. And um, it kind of seems like this is what 
what this message is about. Being able to discern and being able to trust what's coming at you. Don't doubt. If you get a gut feeling like something's not right, then trust that, right? Always confirm with God. You can ask him flat out, is this something I should be paying attention to? And then open your ears to hear him or, or you know, your eyes and pay attention to what he shows you. So I think that's what my message is about today. Just tapping into your intuition Trusting that it's coming from God if you ask him specifically to show you details or to show you um, or to give you answers, to give you confirmation, you know, that kind of thing about what you're going through in your life. Right. And then trust that we have to stop doubting everything. There's so much information on the Internet. There's so many people bringing forward messages from God and messages from this and the aliens and the star beings and the, you know, all the hidden agendas and all this thing. At some point, you got to realize this is just like a big playground here. And I've always kind of looked at this world like a movie set. And sometimes it's kind of cool to watch people and just wonder why they would put themselves in that position or why they would want to learn that lesson or whatever, you know, um, we have to lighten it up a little bit. I think we can stay close to God and we can, you know, be faithful to him. But we also have to have a little fun while we're here and we have to not be so heavy hearted and so down and and, you know, depressed all the time and, and doom and gloom and all this stuff. There's a lot of great things going on around the world as much as there's a lot of tragedy and you have to look for the positive things look for the advantages look for the um, new things you can step into a new way of living a new career a new whatever you know bypass the negative be aware of it but don't don't live your life around it and just be be cautious pay attention listen to what God's telling you where he's guiding you all of these things are important in today's times right so uh, just be safe out there and just pay attention to what you're hearing. Don't be so misguided. Trust what God is telling you and you'll feel it in your heart if that is the truth coming to you from him. OK, so that's my message today. Sure, I feel like I've gone all over the place, but hey, it is what it is. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you again.